Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and shoe guy and this is a suit and tie dip and shoe guy picks video. This is my five top cans. Not so much the product in the cans, the design of the lids and the cans overall. Um, so there are five products here. Most of them won't be a surprise. I've probably mentioned about their packaging when I did the reviews of the products themselves. There is one on the end here that you're gonna be like, what? But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. So my everyday, and I get it in tubs, is Stoker Straight. And once or twice a month, I also buy a just a can of it. So, um, I can use it as a refill can for the tubs because I'm not overly keen on the tubs pocket cans, the pl all plastic pocket cans. Nice idea, nice to include it, but I like to stick with the regular, regular can when I can. So Stoker Straits regular can is not on this list, okay? It's a nice enough can. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just not of the caliber of these other ones, in my mind anyway. So, number one on this list of five, the, the, the top one, we're going top down. The first one is probably It's the original Skull product, all right? What I like about this can, metal lid, obviously. All of these products are going to have metal lids, all right? But it is the classic-looking nature of the lid. Um, the Although it is glossy, there's a gloss to it, the green is a dark forest green, and it's flat. It's a flat green. There's a gloss over over gloss to the product, but the green itself, the color, is a flat green, and it's a very old school forest green. It's offset with the silver, but there's gold lettering. Uh, now, the original down here is in silver, but fine cut and all the small stuff up top is in gold, and that gold contrasting with that flat old school forest green is what makes this can in my mind so that's the first one uh you know the side banding on this is i mean it's not bad by any means but it's nothing really spectacular it, it it's the lid on this one is is it, it i love it the product I'm not a big fan of the product, to tell you the truth. I have this can due to the review I did. Um, I, it, it's just a very non-sweet winter green with a heavy dark tobacco undertone presence. And I'm just not a fan of it. I lean sweet and this is not it. But the lid, uh, the, the lid is a, a, a thing of beauty. Number two, the Stoker's Fine Cut Natural. It is the only Stoker's lid that has a, a, a very contrasting color combo. Okay, now as I said, the Stoker's Straight, there is no contrast, if you see what I mean. This black and red there is a slight contrast in the long cut natural it's sort of a black and like khaki brown doesn't pop like this one does you got the white lettering then you have the black around it with the red it also sort of pops on the side too now these cans are obviously all used cans i'm not going out to buy product just for a can top five these are cans that were used in reviews although this one i do buy from time to time when i can get my hands on it okay so that's the number two spot 
okay and also on this one unlike the others where Bobby is in the bronze of the rim this one is in Bobby is silver and and also for that matter the rim is silver all right number three the new design grizzly dark select now really going by designs the mint or the winter green is right up there with this product this is the one that i prefer and since there was a short format review of this the select since the can change and not the other two this is the only can I have. This is the one I prefer, and I do like, again, the black and the red. Although, really, and this may be part of it, you're not going to be able to tell on this, I don't think. The background of the warning label is actually black. The upper is a very, very dark gunmetal gray okay but it, it's a nice looking can and going around to the side the bear is textured this whole can looks good the, the whole thing is even the back uh they went with the gray around the wording and the bear up top which you might be able to tell a little bit more than on the front. But this this whole can is an extremely good looking can, as was the limited release of the Patriot can, which is probably the best um, special edition can I've ever seen. Now, mind you, all of these cans right now, there are no special editions. The, these are all regular line cans. Number four, the ridiculously classic Copenhagen snuff. It's just, it, it, it's just, I don't really need to say much about this. All, all silver. fiberboard on the back from a actual in the field perspective i'm not a big fan as you know of fiberboard but there is a there is an appeal to it, it i i just don't think it's the best container for the product i can understand back in the day it being you know it was be probably their only option but now you know, but it does have that old timey like draw, and that it is cool that they still put it in those. Everything is silver, and basically the raised parts shadow themselves. All right, so that is number four. Number five, you're not going to see this one coming. In fact, when I was sitting with all the boxes of cans, figuring out what was going to be in this top five, I didn't even see this coming. But yet, here it is. So, get ready. The Cougar Can from American Snuff Company. The near forgotten line from american snuff now before anybody thinks oh let me go get one of those i wouldn't <laughs> i am not a fan of the product that comes in this can it is it's, it's not the worst i've had by a long shot and i think the product is of quality and it's not sketchy and it's not shady. I, I think it's a quality product in the can. It's just that quality product I do not like at all. 
it I, I just find it very very weird uh, this is the long cut version really this and the snuff could go you know either way I like it because of the colors uh, work well together they sort of go really dark brown down here and fade light towards the top the cougar sword matches you got cougar that cougar the actual image the word is in white the rim is a thin band silver like basically all American snuff cans whether they be Grizzly or Kodiak but why I like this the most it's flat I was very very keen on the the crosshair cans that Copenhagen came out with now everybody's main complaint with those were that nothing was raised nothing was sunk I liked that I, I thought it I thought it was nice I, I, I liked the simplicity of that and as you can see in there there is no raised or lower now some of the newer cans that have been coming out are coming with depressions they're not they have raised parts and depressions the winter green I'm the winter green Woo, okay the grizzly dark select there's a line above and below the long cut select there's no color change it's actually a depression in the can I've noticed that on a couple other newer cans most of the time they have been on limited edition cans but the the Grizzly Dark Select cans do have a depression in them this is just plain Jane flat I sort of dig besides the upper color combo the fact that the warning label is in white it works for it the only other time I've seen white warning labels on dip cans have been on Swisher products that were obviously stickers but I like this now I'm not quite sure what is still surviving of the Cougar line I know this is and I know the snuff is you probably don't want to try either they're just very very odd tasting they're natural that has been aged in like an old whiskey barrel or something but the whiskey aspect is way over the top and it doesn't translate well we're not talking like a Copenhagen black which I don't like that either but at least I get it this they wanted that idea and that's not how it translated across to me anyway but the can the can is very cool now this and the snuff are basically with the exception of the word change of the product are the same can there had been a winter green I don't know if it's still in existence I off the top of my head can't think whether the winter green is in a different color but I don't have that can anyway because I haven't been able to source it yet partly because as I said I'm not quite sure if it's even around still this you probably will never see in a store I had to order both of the Cougar products in but this is number five because it is flat and basically it has a white warning label um, it also has the American snuff banding that's very it's sort of plain Jane but it's appealing at the same time another one that is like this is the Hawken uh, the Hawken product is also it, it, it's got a pretty nice band on it and on the back it's sort of you know it, it it's basically set up like a Grizzly product or a Kodiak product so that is the five you got one skull not a huge fan of the product but it's a really really nice can and it's also one of those products that if you haven't tried before you really should I did I'm, I'm glad I tried it I'm not about winter green and I'm not about stuff that isn't sweet but I'm, I'm glad I tried it. I'm definitely glad that I have the can number two is the Stoker's fine cut natural I actually like this stuff 
Uh, I, I can't find it around me ever, but I, I really do actually like it. Whenever I run into it in my travels, I will pick up usually whatever they have on the rack. Three, Grizzly Dark Select. This is my alternate straight dip. Uh, I, I, I throw this into the line to uh, give a little depth and change up from my Stoker straight. It doesn't happen on a weekly basis, but it happens enough. Four, Copenhagen Snuff. I also like this product. I find it very hard to deal with, but I do like it. I like the flavor. It's a little bit rough on my gums, I find. But, um, and I, 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 I'm not good with the cut. Although I have gotten better, I will say. But, I mean, this is another one. If you have never tried it, if you dip, you have to try this at some point. This and the skull. It's just, you know. And then the cougar coming in at five. This is only to be tried by the brave. If you ran into this and it, the date was somewhat okay, I, I cannot see this having a wide appeal to people. But I do like the can for the simplicity and just how it's flat with the white warning label it's a good looking can the graphic is really good on it the color combination is good it's got white raised rim and it's flat and that is the draw to that and that is the suit and tie dip and shoe guys top five cans not so much the products in them the cans so I do hope everyone is well. I have uh, two more videos that are probably going to be reviews uh, before I go on break and a adios video right before I go on break. There will be one dry snuff review coming and one short format dip review coming. And then the I'll see you in a week and a half video. Uh, besides that, things are moving along. I'm still hoping that I get to a thousand subs by September 10th. But although I feel the need to push that idea, it's not going to be like, oh, I'm done. Forget it. It's not going to be like that. It's not. Anyway, I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless.